This motion is on behalf of our Wrexham Independent Group. Um, and in supporting the uh, motion um, today, many constituents have uh, raised concerns on the use and issue of fire, uh, fireworks and the impacts um, this has on um, vulnerable um, people in our communities and also um, animals um, which um, many of us um, keep. Um, what I would say before I just go into some of the context, um, the council um, already does some very good work in this area um, and to date um, two Welsh councils have promoted um, um, an outdated practice of giving pets to prizes on their land and I'm pleased to say that the council recently um, adopted um, this stance um, a few weeks ago. So many thanks to Councillor Hugh Jones and Public Protection and Trading Standards who, who led on that. Um, but what I would say um, that this, this um, council, and I'm hoping that all members will support the sentiments of uh, the motion today, is that um, the RSPCA welcomes um, notices of motion um, across Wales. Two other councils have submitted similar um, motions. Um, the, uh, the RSPCA is inundated with calls each year, receiving on an average of 400 related to fireworks, usually taking place between October and January. And they have uh, seen an increase in the last five years of approximately 12% increase in complaints and serious incidents across um, Wales and uh, the United Kingdom. And I understand, uh, Mr. Mayor, that this, this legislation doesn't fall directly within the council. Um, it's a UK um, legislation. In fact, it was debated in Westminster in November um, earlier in the year, following several petitions um, across the United Kingdom. What I'm asking the council um, to do today is to support the um, RSPCA um, in this motion. And I've set out, uh, Mr. Mayor, the bullet points that the council um, resolves to do. Um, just in, in respect of the first bullet point, um, I'm just going to put a slight um, tweak to the wording on bullet point one, um, where to require all public firework displays held on council land and or which are subject to consent of the local authority. Um, the rest of the wording is exactly the same and the rest of the bullet points as highlighted in the tabled uh, motion um, are exactly the same. So I'm hoping that all members of the council will support the sentiments of this motion and we can lobby uh, Welsh Government and the National Government um, to um, make some progress basically on the control and use of fireworks um, supporting our constituents across the county borough. So therefore Mr Mayor, quite happy to support the motion and um, look forward to support. Okay, thank you very much for that, Councillor Bithell. Uh, Councillor John Phillips. Thanks, Mr Mayor. Yeah, more than happy to second the motion that Councillor Bithell has uh, put forward here this afternoon. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you very much, Councillor Phillips. I'll now open the debate to the floor. Do we have any speakers? Anyone wish to speak? Councillor David Griffiths. Thanks, Mr Mayor. I have no problem with what we got before us, but I just want to ask the uh, proposal and seconder if they would think about a time in the first bullet point is what you're saying. Because if we require all public displays within the local boundaries and you're saying all council land, advertise in advance of the event. How long are we, talk are we talking about they could do it in a day, or are we saying a week, or a fortnight? I think it might be tighter if you say a minimum of three weeks before it. Therefore, people have got enough time to take the necessary steps to make sure that the elderly and the infirmed are protected and the animals are protected. That's all. Everything else I'm happy with. I just, I just wanted to ask if it was possible to have that included in it. That it there is a time. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I will ask Councillor Bethel to make the end, but I just want to check first. Are there any other speakers? Anyone else wish to, to say anything on this? Councillor Paul Blackwell. Well, thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd just like to ask the proposal what powers we as an authority have on, as regards to, to enforcing any part of this motion, please. Thank you. Okay. 
Okay, um, I'll come back. Um, there's only one other speaker I can see, Councillor David Kelly, and then after that I'll go back to Councillor David Biddle. So, Councillor Kelly. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Yeah, I, uh, I fully support this motion, this initiative. Um, not to declare the interest, but family have had livestock affected by such issues in the ward. Um, in relation to advertising, supporting Councillor David Griffiths' concerns, what do we mean by advertising? If it goes in the local village newsletter, people at some big events obviously would use the press, but would merely a sign on the site suffice? I don't know what the definition of the word advertising would be meaning. <coughs> Okay. Thank you. Um, if there are no other speakers, I will ask Councillor Bithell to respond to the three councillors who who raised points and to make a general summation. Councillor Bithell. Um, thank you, Mr Mayor. I'll try and answer the questions, but I know Lawrence is um, here. I have spoken to um, officers within the um, Public um, Protection Departments, and just on the... Um, control and legislation of fireworks. Um, the response from officers is, the legislation available to the council is primary in relation to trading standards. Um, so the powers available to the council um, in this respect is that it's divided into a number of categories um, depending on the noise and the limit um, and consumer fireworks, professional display, etc. Um, if we imply the licensing regime to continue to investigate illegal traders, they can do this, but obviously there is legislation nationally covering that. But after speaking to officers, they're more than happy to, um, to um, <coughs> sorry, on the trading standards front. In respect of um, Councillor Griffiths' question about three weeks, there isn't no, <coughs> oh, sorry, there's no time limit on the motion about um, when and how you can advertise, but I, I have indicated to Lawrence, Lawrence is more than happy with three weeks, um, and he's quite happy, and, and I'm happy to move that as part of the um, original motion as well. Um, what I would say, um, Mr Mayor, and to respond to um, Councillor Kelly and everyone, the legislation sits with Westminster. Um, what we are trying to do, or what the sentiments of this motion um, it's not a devolved matter to Welsh Government, but I am aware that Welsh Government are meeting with trading standards officers across Wales to look at how they can firm up uh, and better control the use of fireworks um, across Wales. And I know that um, um, Welsh Government is seeking views of environmental health and trading standards experts panels, uh, which will be presented to officers and they've set up an individual group to look at that. The sentiments of my motion is there's two, two aspects to lobby Welsh Government, there's an aspect to lobby um, national government to see if we can have tighter controls and legislation. The powers that's open to the authority is in respect of trading standards and dealing with complaints that we receive from members of the public to deal with nuisance um, and antisocial behaviour and noise levels and that sits with the council. Advertising, and I think that's the wording that I amended in my uh, motion, is that we can ask people, we can't demand, we can ask the people and we can ask that they advertise in good time. And I take on board Councillor Kelly's um, statement to say, you know, we will ask in a proactive campaign um, to help protect community. But the powers in that respect are limited at this time. Um, but I, I ask that members support the motion so we can ask Welsh Government and the National Government for further legislative powers to support our communities. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that, Councillor Bithell. I will now put the recommendations to the vote. All those in favour, please raise your hands. That's unanimous. Okay, thank you very much.